episode of Microwave Beats with Sarah the Instrumentalist. Happy Friday, everybody. This episode is sponsored by DistroKid. Where you can get 7% off your first year membership. So you can get your music on distributions like Spotify, Apple Music, you know, Tidal, Pandora. Get 7% off that first year. Check it out. The link is in the bio. Speaking of distro kin. Well, first of all, it's your, it's your girl Sarah the Instrumentalist. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. Got my puppy right here. She. Yeah. My big puppy. She came to say hi. Happy Friday, everybody. What's up, A Major Keys? Happy Friday. Thanks for coming through. What's up, Dojo? Cool. Appreciate y'all coming through as per usual. Uh, you, thanks for watching my sync licensing video on the NFL. Just released a new video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Just released it today. Um, been waiting all week to release that. <laughs> that uh, you guys, the behind the scenes. Um, that video took me like months to make, obviously, because it's like a collection of... Um, of a story it's a whole story so stories take time so it took me a while to edit it because there's a lot of different footage from different places but it was really nice to finally get one thing in one video and then when I listened to the actual NFL video I'm like oops I released the wrong version of my song <laughs> so I need to re delete um, one of the songs from the streaming services and that's why i wanted to talk about distro kid because because <laughs> that's who i use and it was really actually pretty easy and it actually worked and now everything's done so what, what i had to do basically is delete um keep keep pushing <laughs> and stop losing <laughs> um i had keep pushing your free which were the two songs that were on the um nfl um <laughs> um, they were on the NFL and had released them on the 10th and I realized one of the songs were wrong or it was just one of the instruments in the songs were just wrong so I had basically wanted to long story short this is what really happened the original version of Keep Pushing was sent to the the, the director and I really like that version. Is what it's, it has the normal. It's what's, what's out right now, actually. Okay. So it's like relieving <laughs> when I when I went back to re listen to the um, documentary because I was like, wait, he actually kept it. So what happened is the director gave me notes on that version and said he, he didn't like the bass, he didn't like the shakers. He was like, remove that and then put like a, uh, he was like, put an 808 in there and then put a, um, like a, like a Bay Area E40 808 in it. And I was like, okay. So that was what I had released on the 10th. But when I went back to listen to the documentary, it was actually the original version, the one that I liked. So I went back and deleted from DistroKid and, um, which was, here on the site, which you can do if you're an independent artist and you use DistroKid, and you ever run into that issue, you can literally go to whatever song that you're having an issue with or project. What you're gonna wanna do first is get a spreadsheet and save all the IS, I think it's the U U UPC number and the ISRC number. There's like a couple of numbers, right? You're just going to put it in a spreadsheet, document it, um, and then you're going to hit delete, okay? It's going to take two to th three business days for it to fully be gone from streaming services. 
because once it's gone, then you can re-upload um, the same artwork, the same number, the ISRC number, I think it, that's what it is. Um, and it, it still holds the streams from when you originally, uh, it still holds the streams from the original, um, when, when you originally released it, so you don't lose that. And, um, and basically, all of this happened within like five days. So now everything's fixed. Um, and you can do that here on DistroKid. I can't show you my, if I go inside, I'm going to show you my numbers and stuff. But um, uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, that, that happened. And because I made this NFL video that hopefully you guys have watched. If not, watch it after the live stream. I made a video about how I got three songs on the NFL. Um, I had mentioned that the song was out, so I can't like um, say the song is out when it wasn't out, right? So I had to wait until the, to make sure all the music was out and it's correct. So now that the music was out, I was like, yes, it's out. So I can release the video. The video's now, now out. And it's just nice to let things go. You know, I don't have any attachment to the results, but it's nice that you got what you got if you watched it and if you got something out of it. So, um, so thanks for watching the sync licensing video. Appreciate it. Hopefully it helps you understand some stuff that's going on. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, hold on one second. Let's see. I'm about to go get some treats or something, you know. Babysitter or something. Um, happy Friday. Silent uh, Deep Production. Thanks for coming through again. Happy Friday. Um, you're driving. <laughs> watch out, watch out now. Um, what's good with everybody? Happy Friday. What's up, Charlie? Charles. I always want to say Charlie. <laughs> um, hey, was what's up happy friday happy friday vanilla daddy <laughs> y'all names is crazy <laughs> uh hold on let me look at you <laughs> okay <laughs> uh what's up daryl uh uh Dar daryl williams from the bronx what's up how you doing we got tony um um tony i just got in you know um i know no hey i just i just literally started the live stream so licking her paws while i'm doing this live stream i'm not having it of course she either wants to sit on my 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 um sit on me <laughs> mischievous puppy anyways <clears throat> yeah we're gonna be cooking up soon i wanted to talk uh you know take my time like you know i'm an artist i'm gonna do my thing you know what i'm saying i just started so um just seeing what everyone's saying real quick we got the boobling brilliant network what up we got um Hello, what plugins do you usually use to make melodies? To make melodies. The plugin that I use to make melodies is my brain. <laughs> the source, God. Hey God, holla at me one second. I go meditate. I just be in the kitchen. Now I got a whole, I, I got a whole uh, notes, um, what you call it? Uh, uh, the memos and my notes it's crazy bro it's crazy all i need to go is go through it and i'm just i'm good i got mm. um but yeah melodies really should be very simple you guys melodies should be universal and should be you know use should be able to use one with one finger on a piano um uh, don't overthink it you know we got Tatro in the house. Happy Friday. 
thanks for coming through. How are you doing? Happy belated birthday. I think your birthday was earlier this week. My birthday was on the 25th, so we're Aries. <laughs> right? I want to make sure. I know it's pretty late in the, the month. I'm not sure when the cutoff is. I think it's probably today or something like that. What's good? Um, is that Mike Low? Mike Low? What's that? Oh, thank you so much for the for the congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it was awesome working with the NFL. I'm glad to share the information with y'all. If y'all have any more questions about it, let me know. Ooh, Aries season. A. I don't know if there's a sign. You know the. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. All right, real quick before I start making these, did you guys hear about this AI thing everyone's pissed off about? Of course there's AI everyone's pissed off. Oh my God. Um, but it's called uh, Udio. Um, Jermaine Dupri, first how I heard it. The first time I heard it, and I'm, I don't know if I could show it on here. Oh no, I can't show it on here because it's too explicit. I like to keep it PG, okay. But I was on TikTok, and I heard they're going to ban TikTok tomorrow. I don't know. We're going to find out tomorrow. I'm going to find out. Uh, anyways, if they ban the TikTok, come through over here. <laughs> we'll get on YouTube. Um, hold on. What did y'all say? What did y'all say? What did y'all say? How you doing, Alan? How you doing? How's your day? How's your weekend? Thanks for coming through. Hello from Johannesburg. I appreciate you coming through. Zindi. Um, I'm my one of my next projects is a lo-fi Afrobeat project. Would love to. I just need to go out there. I really would love to go, but I got social anxiety. So I don't know. Maybe you could like, I don't know, send us videos and pictures of the vibes. I want to just get a vibe of what what's what's out there and what what's going on in South Africa. Uh, I would love to see like a day in a life. So if you have like a, t a TikTok it, before they banned it and you have a link to your uh, day in a life, send it to me <laughs> before they ban it out here in America. Apparently that's what's going on. A lot of news going on, y'all. I guess I'm a news channel. <laughs> um, we're gonna take a take a look at this AI thing real quick, but I wanted to just capture y'all y'all y'all's. Y'all stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really enjoy you sharing your life with us. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you sharing that because I know there's someone out there that in, that was that's going to enjoy what I am experiencing because I really started off. <laughs> I started off at my mom's house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? North Carolina. And um, and now I got this dog. <laughs> Look at her paws, like, you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, um, I got it. I want to share, ooh, share my experience. Um, because I didn't make this stuff up. Like, I'm I'm highly influenced, and I do not gatekeep. So. I try to make vlogs and little experiences for you guys. So, um, if I really don't care about who, like, how many people watch it, I'm just grateful that at least one person is inspired because um, I know I'm doing things that I don't really know other people are doing. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I don't know anyone that's doing this. Let me capture this. <laughs> um, like seriously, and I and I'm not gonna take myself for granted. So I'm going to go ahead and just capture it and put it in a bottle and let it go. And, you know, and then what happens is other opportunities happen. Someone else will see it. It's crazy. So it's beautiful. Anyways. <laughs> um, let me see. What AI thing fake tracks producing Drake and no, not that. Not that, Tony. I gotta go put socks on my dog's paws. 
I guess it's that time of the year where she got to get some vintage drilled up. She, you know, she can be up, up, you know, whatever the, whatever pups got to do to get allergy. What's the matter, puppy? Let me get you some socks. You walking around. <sighs> yeah, it's okay, hun. Anyways, I'm just trying to, um, let me tell y'all about this real quick. Let me just, before I get back to, I'm going to get to the comments. The comments about to get crazy when I show y'all. This shit is crazy. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, this is, if I'm the first one, I don't know. I ain't, listen, I'm just going to just shut up and show y'all this. Whew. Okay, okay, listen. First of all, let me just give you a disclaimer. I need you to understand this. Okay, let me just give you the story. I'm going everywhere. I got ADHD today. So... The first time I heard this, and I, w I wish I could show y'all this, I was on TikTok strolling, <laughs> scrolling, uh, strolling, um, and I saw this uh, this old school version of Pound Town. <laughs> uh, it was like a picture of. Let me just find the picture, but I can't play it because as you, oh, my phone's right here, it's crazy. As you may, as you may know. Um, is it sexy red? <laughs> uh, it's it's not appropriate. But what happened was it was like the captions. Let me just find it because here it is. This is what the caption was. Okay, it says, "Have you heard the original version of Pound Town?" <laughs> And it's like, uh, there. It sounds like it's from the seventies. Like it sounds like it's the like the 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 Supremes, and it really sounds like <laughs> like a real song with the lyrics and everything. So I'm not thinking anything of it, but I did ask the person in the comments, like, "Hey, where can I get a place like this to um to um to make samples? Like, you know, <laughs> like." Cause this would be a great place for me to make my own samples. Um, and he told me it was you, 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 I, Udio. Okay. And I, I didn't really think much of it. And then I'm thinking it's just some AI thing. Cause I saw the, um, their TikTok and they didn't really have a lot of followers, but then, um, I had, uh, went on my Instagram and then I saw D Jermaine Dupree. He made a post. He was like, man, um, how are we gonna let these people in our in it come in our industry and take over with this AI thing? Um, and then he 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 said the same thing. He said, "You do you, you do you do whatever." And I didn't really think much of it. And then, and then um, it's really a thing. Like I had went to the website. It's free. And first of all, let me just make a disclaimer: you cannot copyright AI creations because. Copyrights have to be made by human, which means if you're trying to make money with intellectual property, you can't use any of this. But if you're just trying to have fun, you know, go for it. That being said, the first time I went in here, um, I had, uh, let's see if my creations are in here. I had typed in a prompt that said soulful 70s male group that speaks heartbreak and has a catchy chorus. Um, and it made this in like seconds. And my heartache's still on replay. I'm here we're just you we're going we're going to try it together but the other one it made two songs for me but that sounded like a real record it had 
I mean, that that thing was stuck in my head the next day. So if it's something that that stays in my head, I mean, it's it's golden. That's crazy. This is what AI made. So it's getting deep, y'all. Let me play the second one real quick. It's breaking me down. The second version. Like Smokey Robinson. They've been rapping right there. But it's kind of, you know, weird because <laughs> it's like giving, like, I don't know. It is the temptations, you know, because you do have the person that's got the high voice and then you have the mid register. But anyways, I'm going to type in, I don't know, you guys, just let, you, what do you want, what, what would you like for me to generate? <laughs> Put in the comments what you want me to generate. Hold on one second. Let me, uh, let me close these blinds. Hold on. Or this door. In the one second. Be right back. build a relationship with people before you ask to make songs with them you know, it's like making a baby you know that's all i would say i don't really know who you are like, yeah let's make a beat i don't know who you are come to my house i'm a ba i'm a female <laughs> come through <laughs> no <laughs> Um, I can't stand it. Yeah, it's, 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 tell me why you can't stand it. Silent D production, same for production, same for the, uh, TikTok band. They can kick rocks, yeah. Well, I'm putting socks on my dog feet. <laughs> Almost 420. They're distracting us. So I'm 420, let's ban TikTok. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna know. We're gonna know. We're gonna, we're gonna really know. Unfortunately, like, wait, man, wait, wait. Come on. One more sock, on. This is some dog mom shit right now. Here you go. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right. Um. How you like an Ableton 12? Thinking of buying an upgrade. It's pretty dope. I like it. Ableton's pretty solid. I'm always wanted to go to Egypt, but I haven't gone yet. Um, Egypt's fantastic. One of my favorite places in the world. Shout out to fam in South Africa. <laughs> Shout out to South Africa. Shout out to all of Africa. The motherland. We're all from Africa. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm going to the computer here. <laughs> going to the computer here. Huh? Um, let's let's see what, what prompts are we doing, y'all. Which key do you like the most? Ah, uh, the key that pays the most. <laughs> what do you think? Minors or majors? I go for the majors. I don't do that sad stuff over here. <laughs> I'll switch it up. I put it. I put it in like the third, the 
third or second progression. Anyways, no one. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> favorite key. Um, hold on one second. Let me, let me slow down. This Going with the machine. You got the. You got the NPC live too. That joint sick, right? It's just crazy. You sit on the couch. You can make anything you want. Yeah. Um, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? Y'all ain't suggesting. Y'all ain't Okay, dude, 90s R&B, flip it. I'm just gonna put 90s. Let me go to my phone. I'm literally gonna go to my phone. Oh yeah. I'll put 90s R&B uh, woman. Am I gonna put, do I put, I don't know, what, what else? Just 90s R&B. What type of 90s R&B though? There's different, hmm. But who specifically? I hate to say it. <laughs> it's crazy how people in the 90s are um, being banned right now. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> um, let me put RP. Thinking about heartbreak. I'm just going to put whatever. I just put 90s R&B women singing about heartbreak. That's what we're gonna put. We're gonna see what it makes. But I don't intend to use any of this stuff. I'm just showing you guys for educational purposes. This is all educational purposes. Um, and just checking it out, you know, like, oh, look, look at it, you know. You know. So um, my dog's name is Lucy. Uh, you can check her out on the cover of uh, a little, a little anti, a little social. Yep, she's she's on the cover of one of my albums, I think. So I know. Um, have you ever used the SP202? I have not. I have not used the 202. I've never seen one before. I think. You're addicted to the recording <laughs> uh, possibilities on the four port. Oh, blah, blah, blah. you're addicted to the the beat recording possibility in the SP404 update. Isn't it like really dope? Like they just they they're final. It's finally coming together. To them. It's like we we had a starting point. It's the dope recorder, but how do we how do we finish beats on this? <laughs> you know. Lucy said hi, y'all. Yeah, I know. All right, so we got this AI. What is the what is the, what is the dog matter? Yeah. Lucy has her own music. She has like spa music. Cause we have construction workers around here. Stop the plane right now. I'm like, you wanna listen to this music? She's like, yes, it's well not there. Hey buddy. Yeah. You wanna get on this beat? Come on. People are asking about you in here, okay? Sorry. She's got one of her socks in her mouth, so she wants to try to play play with me. I don't have time for that. Um, no, no, it don't sound like Brandy. <laughs> no, it don't. Uh-uh, Brandy better come and sue this. No, no, nah.
Brandy better go. Somebody, somebody, somebody go. Y'all better hit Brandy up. I better let her know. Does she know? Does she know? on steroids who the hell is this Probably the best AI in music. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> hey, listen, don't let me put my name in there. They try to generate my beats in that bitch. I be like, no, nah, they did, motherfucker. Let me make a beat, my own beat in two seconds. Nah, let me not put. Ooh, ooh I'm gonna be pissed off. Let me. Ooh, let me not put Jay to the dead. They do that shit. Ooh, y'all gonna. Ooh, ooh, ooh y'all get. You, 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 I ain't got no affiliation with this place, but just let y'all know this ain't no sponsorship. It is not a sponsorship. Mm -mm. I'm just checking it out. I'm just checking it out. Okay, what we typing in? What we typing in? Um, who we typing in? Um. Can you sue a real robot? I mean, there's people behind these these things. I don't know. It's just like, this is the thing. There's no regulation, I think, on AI. They need to start st start making regulation on AI. There's no copyright laws on AI. Um, there's... Mm-mm. Trying to type in JW. I don't know. Okay. J... Uh 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 not my screen going okay. <laughs> Jay this is just Jay Dilla. I'll put instrumental hip hop. This is this is scary. I, I no, 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 it's not. You better not. I'll <laughs> put stereotyping. <laughs> Nah, that's crazy, hold on. Let's see, stop. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, you heard that, that Brandy one, what that, that one, um, that's her likeness, I feel like, that's her, but that's the thing, like, people, we haven't reached I don't think we've reached a place to where we can copyright her her voice. I don't I, I'm I don't know how this works. I know how it works for music. Like I don't know how it works for your your style, like your your just crazy. Hold on, let's this is gonna be it's better not. Not this sound, not this sound, some people's feet. This is not, not this one being high. Not this one. This is weird. It's not, you can never, you can never get Jay Dilla. Never can get Jay Dilla. You never can. You can. Hmm. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, J Dilla is too complex for AI. But yeah, I'm I'm assuming here. I don't know if they have some remix. I guess that means you can redo it. 
extend because it's only 33 seconds i guess it's giving you like a sample and then it's a pub publish button i guess that i don't know if that means you can buy it or i don't know i'm not gonna deal with it i just wanted to share it with y'all because it's like the mid journey of making making music making, but just know if you use stuff like this and you deal with Um, for an example, if you deal with sync licensing, they're not going to use it at all. Or if you register your music through a PRO or, um, or, I mean, when you fill out the actual copyright, it, it will ask you, is this made by a human or not? Is it fully, is it, has it been made with any artificial intelligence? human? And you have to have integrity. So you can't use any of this. And basically, none of this stuff will be on the radio, essentially. It's not going to be usable. Unless for some reason they changed the law. So I know some people do use this AI for inspiration. But I really would definitely try your best to tap into yourself. It's really like much better and authentic when you use yourself um if you don't know music just go to, to go to class go learn some music theory go to your local guitar center go go to class go to your local uh, go to your local um uh, like community college you know go somewhere <laughs> to get to to learn the um you know the and i think jay dill is is, is recommending that because my camera's flipping out <laughs> so yeah um infinite minds thank you so much appreciate the love what site are you on what site what do you mean what sites what website no one does like no one does I got <laughs> where you can go get your sound packs and your merch oh yeah um got me my microwave beats sweatshirt I got a shirt as well grab you one it's only a limited supply this time around for these joints oh uh, what side is that oh you is you d Oh, no, I just put it in there. I'll just put it in the comments for y'all. J Balvin, Honey Bright. Um, I don't know. I feel like y'all y'all take the time to do it yourself. I think it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's really kind of it's kind of just it's kind of weird, um, because these people have unique voices and they're just being they're basically copying it. It's just something weird about it. It's not really like it's generating its own thing. It's really copying someone's like, like oh this actually sounds like it's got a reference. So is it really generative? I don't know. Mm-mm. 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 I'm gonna stick to them. The only, yeah, gener generative AI is kind of weird. Especially you don't know where their resource their resources are coming from. So anyways, we're gonna be cooking up some beads. I already have this beat already started on. I think I'm gonna just keep making it, you know. We're gonna finish what we start here, you know. So um, hope y'all vibe out with vibe out with me. If you have any questions about anything, put it in the comments. Play my music for you. I play my music from the heart. 
No music career. Yeah. No that music theory, y'all. Let's see what I got. Got the sample that I've been chopping up. I was asking my dog, do you like it? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'll add it. I had it like a filter. Good Hertz plugin. That's pretty dope. I always like. I like that. It sounds like a telephone. So I need to add baseline. Oh, bass. Check one thing. My heart got to be talking over there. <laughs> um, I play. What's up, Battle Cat? The legend. Thanks for coming through and showing love. I hope you had a good week. Actually, um, earlier this week. I had went to Sony again. They like they um Kevin from Sony, he's really dope. He actually is a viewer of my YouTube channel, so he invited he's been inviting me over to the Sony plot uh, lot where they shoot all their movies and they have this really cool three sixty studio where there's like seventeen speakers. Um uh, three sixty um reality and he we mixed one of my songs in the studio on monday which is really dope so appreciate you kevin for helping me out with that and showing me um their new technology i'm gonna make a video about our relationship and like how sony has been really dope and honestly like to you guys like if you're musicians let me tell you one thing it's one thing it's one thing to just be making music but please make content get out there and make some content because you never know who's watching like i said kevin he is somebody that was watching my channel and because he was watching my journey he ended up getting a cool job and then when we crossed paths he's like oh yeah come through <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you never know who's watching how they can help you out and and you help them out and all that stuff. So it's really dope. So uh, I'll be ma making a video about that soon. But I went to Sony and I'll talk about more about these headphones. These, these MD <laughs> Marina Del Rey's. <laughs> the MDR's MV1's. Yeah. Is the SP404 standalone? beginner friendly well, it's complicated um i would say that it's complicated if you decide to to not invest in like learning how to use it just like anything um you know how you can purchase something i know i purchased things before and i don't know how to use it and i'll just let it sit there after months but like you really have to like learn how to to use it if you don't know anything. So there's tons of YouTube videos, but like I had made a course specifically on the SP404 MK2 because I know how overwhelming it can be. So it's like individual videos there, um, you know, they'll keep have you 
be a pro a process wheel to show you like what you're doing and if you want to watch some of the stuff you want to skip some stuff so you can get directly to the point and go back if you need to and you don't have to watch like a 40 minute long video <laughs> to get to to something that you need to get to because there's so many things that to that, to learn and sometimes you don't need to learn everything it's like okay i want to get the sp just to load up samples so i can do live sets and and then maybe one other thing but you don't have to learn everything on it right just like ableton it can be overwhelming you don't have to know everything on it so as long as you know how to do something or do what makes you happy get that money you know what i'm saying Yes, thank you. Um, they're trying to pass a generative AI copyright disclosure act. What does that mean exactly? Let me look that up. Um, let me see. Let me check something. Get out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. It says. Music real quick. Let me look that up. Dang, this just came out yesterday. <laughs> just, just hold on. Lucy. Oh my gosh. Lucy up. Get up. Get from under me. Being all protective and weird and stuff. I don't like it. The Generative AI and Copyright Disclosure Act would make it so that companies need to submit a notice to register copyrights before they release AI systems that are trained on copyrighted works. This would also retroactively apply to models previously released that fit the requirements. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that because just look into the details of that and just like what laws are about to have. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start making new laws when gosh, why are they vacuuming? Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be making some new laws on AI soon. I personally don't want to mess with it. This is scary because, like. If you make something that sounds like Marvin Gaye, and Marvin Gaye's family sued Robin Thicke and Pharrell for y'all gonna be y'all gonna be in court. <laughs> I'm just gonna be in court, y'all. I'm just saying, like it's getting weird out here. I'm just saying, like, mm. anyways. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me do what I was about to do. I'm about to um, record to, to confirm what these, what key this is in real quick. So I'll load this. Oh, God. Let me use the AI to, <laughs> to check. Check to see what key this is in. It's in A. Let me see if my thing was right. I, I thought it was a D. I thought it said it was the D. I thought it said it was a D. It was an F, an F sharp minor. Is that a relative? Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, that's relative. It's it's oh, that's right. It's right. It's right. Mhm. Mm it's right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me 
No, it has not the new sampling. <laughs> like I just said, you can't copyright it. Um, so I don't know what the rules are in South Africa. Um, but in America, in order for you to protect your artwork, it has to be copyright copywritten. Um, if it's not copywritten, people can just take it and steal it and there's it's just it's not yours. You don't own it. You can't sell it. You can't license it. You can't go to the NFL and say, here's my beat. They're going to be like, AI made that. We don't want it. Do you know how to make your own stuff? And you're going to be like, I don't know how to because I just go to this website called UD whatever. Don't do it. Don't be that person. Now, there's nothing wrong with AI. But the generative stuff is weird because it's generating like the whole brandy thing. Like that's that's that they're using a reference track. They're using something to reference to brandy. It sounds like her. It'd be one thing if it sounded like someone else. You know what I'm saying? So, so okay. Let me go over here. I'm gonna look over here. Let me go over here. We got our keys. We got our bass on. We got the. Um, I think somebody today, if if you're here today, I saw your message on my Shopify. I need to answer to you. But if you're here today, someone asked me, do you need a doll to make music? Yes, you do. This is a doll. It's what I use. This is called Ableton Live 12. Um, some people, honestly, they want to make music, don't know where to start. So it's very important that we, we treat everybody like like how we started i remember getting started didn't know anything so drop in the comments what doll you started on and what you currently use y'all so i started using well i first actually got ableton with no actually my first ever doll was pro tools but then because someone gave it to me when i was working in the studio but then i updated my computer and then i needed that something something got an eye lock what's an eye lock oh my gosh and then I needed to, and I couldn't use it, but I had it for a minute. So, but yeah. Um, um. Let me just put this thing. Yeah, I like this dot a lot. The 
delete this. No, where'd it go? I'm too reliable now on the um where the MIDI uh records your stuff automatically for you. day long is play different bass options. <laughs> Thank you. 
this look at that look at that nah, 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 nah. let me show y'all that Hold on. <laughs> in 12 little stuff like this you see i got all my midi notes here from all my tracks that i just highlighted in this one group this one loop so if i wanted to make sure they're all on the same grid or whatever they're all color organized i know it's so weird my thing don't like, but if you like being organized like me, beautiful thing. Anyways, and highlight all of them. I just highlight this one. Whatever, just record that, you know. That's not it.
Yeah. Bass is my least favorite part, but I end up <laughs> figuring it out at some point. I always like to make different patterns of the bass. And then kind of go back and later and figure out which one I like the best. But finding the right, you know. So I'm just playing around with it. I'm just gonna just probably Come here. They're drilling a hole in our wall. Make my puppy go back. Hmm, let's just let's beef up this stuff while we're here. I'm gonna just need to do the base and finish that later, but why not show some love to the rest to the to the tracks real quick? You know, you okay, Lucy? when I went to, to Sony this week is that you have to if you want to, to properly use your your reverb and your delay you could go to the calculator <laughs> I forgot about the, the delay and reverb calculator so I'm gonna put it up over and turn this to stereo Session view can't use universal quantization launch, but I need to this function sometimes. I use logic and sometimes pro, pro tools. <clears throat> Make sure you give them feedback. They're always working on the um, the bugs. For 
this song, I'm not doing a bus, I'm just doing a nice simple Just type in delaying and reverb calculator is gonna tell you exactly what to put in to, to get to quantize your reverb. That's what what uh, Kevin at Sony told me today or this week. So if I want a large, it says if I want for reverb. drilling a hole it's lovely now i'm gonna continue because <laughs> you're gonna stop at some point okay um okay so no you can't my arm my arm is broken not really but it's um you want a small room pre-delay is gonna be 21.8 millim whatever's Boom, let's be precise. And then for the decay time is 1.3. Yeah, we might have a good digging session. That's close enough. Adding a cube uh, EQ and a compressor on everything real quick. Make sure everything's tight. Tight and right, tight and right. Tight and right, baby. Yeah, the threshold is.
congrats on the NFL. I am so freaking happy for you. Keep up the shit. Thank you so much. So, so, so much. Mr. Pasketti. Sketty? Mr. Sketty? And oh gosh, Lotus, appreciate you coming through, fam. How you doing? How you doing? How's it going for you? What doll did you start on and which one are you currently using? I know we talked about this earlier. We got a... Look at this. I got a peeking out. Let me just go to the door. Hold up. I know it's not probably good for me to mix when they're drilling. <laughs> but, you know, kind of when I hear it better, that's why. <laughs> That's why, like, that's what makes you, you, you mix better when you got distractions, when you got a fan on and you got the heater on. I mix better when I got distractions, bruh. Let <laughs> <coughs> to come back to that one. I know what I can do. A little compressor, I might add a little trumpus on it, you know. Thank you for stop drilling. Attachment style. Do the same thing. Go here. On a very tight.
77. got a, a Samba Lo-Fi album coming out, The Brazilian Love, all day long, shout out to Brazil, I like it, I like it, let me modify it real quick. All right.
Hmm. Um. So meaning that. Hmm. Oh, Mark Simpson. Hmm. Let me listen to it real quick. What do we have here? Okay. So we're at eight. the end of loop if I'm not wrong all right mm, I know what I want to do Did you guys see Grimes perform? I'm just thinking about how mathematical this and complicated this is. <laughs> I'm telling the crowd. This is complicated stuff and I'm it's not working. Mercury's on a retrograde on her. On her. <laughs> Four bars. Oh, find it. Yeah. Let me listen to this. I'm not gonna do all of this. This experiment thing. All right, the music making process. Oh my. here we're deleting that just messing around messing around messing around trying to figure out ableton live trial yeah ableton is definitely need a lesson on it need a lesson on it
I have no idea what that smells like. Let's see here. How many unfinished bees do we have? We need to finish them. <laughs> How many unfinished bees do you have? And they haven't been released. Real question. Kevin told me he had 3,000 unreleased beats. I'm like, boy, 3,000? He was like, yeah, it's like, what? 3,000? I've given myself at least two weeks, the next two weeks, to finish stuff. I'm like, don't be starting new stuff now. I'll be like, oh, but this thing, this new sample, this new thing. If you start new stuff, you better finish what you started. I'm gonna finish what you start. Give myself a break on this move. Cause the bass, I don't enjoy doing the bass on live streams. I'm just going around do 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 do. It's, it's very boring. And the people are watching me. I'm making decisions. Y'all are watching me and shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably let me think. I know I had a song on the SP that we did on the. It was on the koala and the SP. It's like two weeks ago. Um, I'm trying to think. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was good. I'll probably do that on my own time. Because I have to figure out where it's at. You know? I'm just thinking. Because, you know, we can't just be moving. We can't be making new stuff all the time. We can be making stuff all the time. But let me just continue to finish this beat then. <laughs> I got a few on um, working on and song. Oh, I got a few I'm working on and some old rough ones that I need to work on. Yeah, we all do. Crazy. Every beat I start, I finish because I have the time. You have a lot of food on your plate. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah, I do have a lot of food on my plate. It's just not that. It's just a matter of, like, sometimes people can overdo it can be too much on the beat sometimes i'm just like this is good all i need is like what i would add on this song is like of course the bass but i do that later but i could add um you know effects and make it sound really cool that's pretty much it but i can you know go through and browse and add some more stuff to it so let me see what i have so far i got this sample i got I got my own vocals on it, which is which is tight, which is good. Um, I can always add other elements. I also have the dub, this new dubstep siren that Akai just came out with.
a a lift for me to relax we need breaks we all need breaks you know who i could tell we all we all need breaks but just just imagine i took a break from paying my taxes this year (laughs) i took a break from paying paying my rent i wish it's crazy how crazy things is it's crazy first thing i saw today on my instagram was crazy i can't even mention it it was so crazy whatever's going on in new york right now y'all i'm i'm like is this real every time Darrell, Darrell, what's going on in manhattan what's going on in manhattan it's crazy anyway don't even type about what happened just just look it up in your own time um The Samba EP is done. That's cool. What I'm going to do is... Every time I do it, it records something different. So we're gonna add a oh, I didn't hear that. Hmm. <laughs> this one's called Rain the Alarm, so <laughs> Let's see if it'll work. over here and just
I'm scared to go to Manhattan. That's wow. That's crazy. I've never heard someone say that in my life. But I get it because, like, right now, I don't know what's going on. Every time I check on, I'm, I don't be, I don't be literally checking in on it. It just be showing up on my time. I'm like, what's going on in New York? Every day, I'm like, what the hell? Uh, uh-uh. this is, this is, this is really happening. Like, mm. mm Ain't gonna talk about the details. Y'all can look it up. It's too, it's too, it's gruesome. It's bad. It's not, it's not, it's, 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 it's chaos. It's chaos mode in New York City right now. You're truly talented. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate you, Ray Butler, the second. New Ableton skin looking fly. Thank you so much. I like the purple, the purple rain. I walk around with the pepper spray. Me too. I don't play around. Got my little pocket knife. Don't mess with me. So, you know, living in L.A. Living in America. Those effects are giving 90s Brooklyn, yeah, block party vibe for sure. It's giving, like, yep, summer, hydrogen, not hydrogen, fire hydrants is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um. But Ray, that's not funny. That's real. This is real life. Lives in in New York City. New York's. It's always been kind of on the edge. You know. But uh. It's it's no like whatever happened today. I'm not gonna talk about it because this is not the place. But when you look it up, or whenever you find out what happened on this day in New York City. You understand why he feels like he doesn't, he does, he's scared of going to Manhattan. It's a normal day. You think it's a normal day, and all of a sudden you look over and. Yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that for sure. I know. I know. But yeah, we hope that you're safe and that you listen to your intuition and, you know. Come to LA for a second, you know. Come, come fly over, and we're all gonna train. We're gonna go to the the the, the Bahamas or something, something tropical. That was cool, you know. Little.
sounds good. Every time I turn on the complete controller, it's asking me to turn my webcam on. What's going on, Native Instruments? No, can't view me. I looked it up. I'm from Europe. The news is not showing this. Yep. You got it. The news will never show you what's going on. I never watched the news. That's why they want to ban TikTok. Like, they're not. They're, the news is the media. They're not showing people what's really going on. As soon as I went on Instagram, the first thing that popped up on my feed, I was like, what the hell is going on in New York? And it was like one of the first places I've, I saw I was probably not out on actual official news. I'm not going to talk about it, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah, fire the alarm or ring the alarm. <laughs> ring the alarm. Yeah, it's a dope app for um the upstep siren that just came out. Um, check it out. Akai is on Akai's site. Pretty cool. Yeah. Might as well try.
the uh, trap called quest i can hear q tip on this beat hey that's what's up love q tip 100 my, my drums are always crisp and tasty thank you so much mr Paschetti. i hope i'm saying that right it's crazy how my driver blinker is synced up with this beat <laughs> isn't that crazy how that happens I'm like oh shit Universe in the blinker. Real bad. Real bad. All right, let's do that. Let's okay. set the indicators at the top. This helps me stay organized with where I'm at and the beat. Should have been done that.
save and export this project real quick. Yeah. I hear your music a lot in YouTube videos. Do you do that? How do you do that? How do I do that? It's a good question. Valid question. Valid question, Darrell Williams from the Bronx that doesn't go to Manhattan or is scared to go to Manhattan sometimes. Um... So, uh, I have to say that I'm very, very, very grateful for my experience and where I'm at and where, where I've gone and how things worked out for me. Um, when I look back, I'm just like, wow, that was a really cool opportunity that changed my life. <laughs> and I'm glad that, that I followed through with it. So, um long story short i started making beats on my like 15 minute breaks so my at working at the apple store um and i was making youtube videos because people were asking me like what are you doing and i'm like i'm making beats bro because people were interested in what i was doing so i made a youtube channel and then long story short i was making i have to tell the story as part of the story so i had a co-worker that worked with me her name is tech meow you can look her up she's like super huge tech 
uh, YouTuber, and I didn't know this at the time. <laughs> like we were just working together for years. And long, long story short, she quit. She was quitting her job at the Apple Store. I was like, "What are you doing?" It's like I'm gonna do YouTube full time. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I make beats. If you need beats for your channel, I can give you some beats. And in exchange for learning how to make my channel better, and I didn't know that you could make YouTube videos for a living. I had no idea. So she kind of taught me how to make videos and how to pitch to, to to brands and stuff like that. But long story short, I made like a beat tape for the first time called Conversations. I released it on streaming services. And then I got an email from a company called Epidemic Sound. And the, first, the email was kind of like, hey, I heard your music on Spotify. Let's talk music. And I'm like, who is you? And when I talked to my friend that teched me out about it, she was just validating that's who she goes to when she needs music for her content. And if she doesn't, ha can't find what she needs from them, she'll go to me. And then that's when I give her beats for her channel. She's like, you should get paid for, for your music to be placed in her catalog. So you could um, get paid for this. I'm like, yeah, thanks for validating that. And so long story short, my first batch of beats I sent to them has always been doing well the first couple like my first beat was in a will smith youtube video um if you literally go on my channel search sarah too ill on will smith it's my reaction of like yo i just <laughs> literally got out the shower my music's on <laughs> a will smith youtube channel and then it's been consistently on this channel it's been on a lot of pretty much almost everybody's channel like uh from the past like four or five years so overall so what what epidemic sound is epidemic sound is a music catalog it's for content creators so if you're a youtuber or a podcaster or someone just live streams or you need uh d dmc a free music or music to that's royalty free I make that music. I make all the lo-fi hip hop music for Epidemic. Not all of it. There's, I'm one of the artists, of course, um, and have been for a while. So I, what I do is I go through their catalog. I resample a lot of their content uh, and then give it back to them and get paid for that. For that. So like the, the song we just made, those samples, like the, the roads are from a different song from Epidemic Sounds catalog. So I get paid to remake songs or flip them and to make them into a hip-hop song and it does very well it does pretty well so um works well for me works well for them um works well for other people content creators i get to be a part of people's stories um probably two months ago i got an email that told me my music just on youtube has been viewed over 16.4 billion times so I get these crazy stats of how, how much my music is being played on other people's channels. Like literally, I'm not kidding you. I could show you right now. Like it's, it's kind of like really sad because <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do on my channel, but my, my music does well. <laughs> it's like you're, I'll just show you. <laughs> like analytics would be like, you're doing very well, but only 1% of it is you. <laughs> Or my actual YouTube channel. Um, let's see. That's crazy. So I'm really going to show y'all some crazy stats. So like this is just in the last 28 days. So if you read the top, it says of 14 million views in the last 24, 28 days, 1% came from your videos on your official artist channel and 99% came from videos that feature your music on other channels. So when the, in the last 24, eight days, 28 days. So it's like videos like a, it's, this one video has 11.2 million. It's like, do I as a parent love my children? My music must be playing in the background that joint. Yeah. So that's how I got on a lot of YouTube videos. So 
thankfully um epidemic sound they give universal or yeah universal license to people that pay the subscription which means they live on wherever they can download my music and use it and i get paid for when they download it and when people stream my music i get paid for making the music and i'm all i'm still an independent artist i still make my own music release my own music i'm not exclusively to them so it's pretty dope i've been doing that for since 2018 so really grateful for my experience i'm grateful that people enjoy my music some music that I made, like my first batches of music, is still doing well. And didn't even know what I really was doing. It's crazy. So, so you know. So that hopefully that answers your question. Yes. Um, yes, I remember the Will Smith. Yes. Remember when I made a, a video that says, um, why I don't make beats for rappers? That's literally kind of explains how I started with epidemic so it's still working for me hey buddy hold on Lucy I need you to calm down yeah I need you to just settle it there's no need to be an alpha dog here Okay, someone asked me, do you ever think of starting your own label? I mean, that's exactly what you are when you're an artist and you're independent. You are a label. You are your own distribution, your own everything. Yes, I, I am a label, <laughs> literally. You go to my music microwave beats, it says no quantize. No quantize is a registered business. It's a label. Essentially, ultimately... Um, to be very scientific, scientific and very detailed, um, we're going to get into the nitty gritty with, with opening a corporation. Yes. Yeah, like a music group, you know, like universal music group, but it's not universal. It's, it's a black owned woman's corporation, right? And inside the corporation, or let me go back. There's a holding company. Well, there's a trust, there's a holding company, and then there's a corporation and inside the corporation, which is the music group has LLCs and then so the LLCs represent different things right one of them is the publishing company that's going to be your composition you know songwriter you know the songwriter and the production side of the song that's just one side of the song the other side of the song is the master that's the record label that's going to be one LLC the other LLC um or that could be distribution too it could be three different things or it could be tied together. So you got publishing, you got distribution, right? And then you got uh, sync licensing, you got uh, sound packs, you got courses, courses you got uh, music rental equipment company, you got car rental company, you got all under that corporation. Yes, yeah, so yes, we are getting there. Um. But yeah, it wouldn't be called no quantize records. <laughs> it's, no quantize is um right now because everything is under one LLC, which is fine. I, I'm changing it to be umbrellaed into those things I just spoke about. Um, no quantize is probably mo most likely going to be known as the the online courses, the tutorials, the the number one resource for music pro production in music producers to get started with with everything right so that's really the brand that i'm building around uh no quantize um the publishing and distribution would probably be in a whole different llc just a whole different it doesn't matter it's just a different it's just separated you know so so i think that's what's probably going to happen i actually made an llc uh, a record label when i was in college and I mean, it's a very college name. It's called Cum Laude Records, but it sounds fucking dope. So I'm not now. I may have to go back to. I don't know. I'm at the re register. I don't know, or just start fresh. There's so many things you can do. It doesn't matter the name, the brand is something that you can always, as an entrepreneur, where you create stuff and you make it and you you can make another one. So, but yeah, word. I got that. that makes sense. Yes. 
What's up, Ja? Wastafari83. And Kevin Samuels had one of the um of your songs on his shows. That's big. That's crazy. You know? That's crazy. I mean, I got good music. I'm gonna be everywhere, baby. That's why I like to keep making music. This this song we're making, I know it's gonna be everywhere. It's it's just planting the seed. I'm showing y'all the process as producers and then like people that aren't producers that just need it for their content. They love the way it sounds. They don't care about how it's made. They just want it to be available for them to use it. So I always hear that. And this is the thing. This is kind of why my music's everywhere. Once you create a consistent vibe, my vibe, what's my vibe, y'all? My vibe is going to be chill, happy. When it's the lo-fi, you don't think of the sad lo-fi when it comes to me, right? So when you go to the Epidemic Sound Library as a creator, as a content creator, you're overwhelmed with too many options. So what happens is because I'm consistently making good, groovy, happy, lo-fi, hip-hop, boom, bap music, they know who to come to. I'm con so they'll download the whole collection of my music and down, you know, keep it on the folder and always use it. And I always hear that people are like, I just the reason why Will Smith keeps using my music is because they they don't even it's consistent. It's it's a vibe, the same flavor. It matches their flavor. Why go somewhere else? You know, so when once you find like who you are. Stick to it and people are going to vibe to it and gravitate to it. So there are people that are known for like more chill, like even chiller stuff. There's some people are known for dance stuff, you know, like, so that's kind of what I provide. So I'm really grateful that I can do that. You know, let me think. I have a lot of stuff that I could be working on, like music that that's not finished. What time is it? 4.35. I got this one song here. I'm tempted to start something new. Let me grab my iPad. Here it is. It's my iPad. Let me grab the cable. I and mean, what I'm going to do is at least record the koala stuff that we did two weeks ago onto Ableton. Because everything needs to be finished. There's no excuses, y'all. Everything that you have start it you need to finish we're gonna give it until the 27th it's that's that's the end of mercury retrograde we're gonna finish what we can that we started so if you're listening to this and you know that you have songs you have some content that you haven't finished this weekend this week is your time to get it done i'm speaking to myself as well so don't you start that new beat you open up that 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 old session and you remember what you did that you was excited about when you opened it up. All right, so let me grab the cable. Hang tight one second.
I'm not sure what you said to her, but it must have been like you're leaving or something. Well, have a good night. Stay safe. Taking everything to stream the heart and mind. Oh, for sure. I hope so. I gotta take it for myself, too. It's just a nice time to finish stuff. Uh oh. to Lali. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, my little iPhone thing ain't working up there. My over the head camera. Unless I restart my computer, I can't restart it. without it. But... So weird. I'm so sick of Mercury being in retrograde. <laughs> Go back. Alright, so... Just watch me from a distance. I'm gonna basically pull up a different project. I think it's on this project. Let's see. I think my dog. Are you done yet? You've been making beats all day. Trying to find the project. Not it. All right, got my drums. Plug on my iPad. Got my koalas. I got my. I got. I do have some sequences. I'm gonna just record some stuff on the Ableton so I can arrange it later on. Let me.
to do is actually now that able uh the sp has the uh, has that stem option hmm i guess i'm recording Ooh, this is what am i doing am i gonna record the sample Show you, I don't know why my thing ain't working. Carol record, Mercury's on record making.
Yeah, it's koala's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, I can't lie. It's, tra- it's chopping it up, but I, I had to use the SP for it though, so you know, be clear. Chops here, got the Grumpy puppy. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unnecessary. Un- un- unnecessary. Unnecessary. Sounds clean, but plenty at the same. That's what we like. We want clean, we want to hear everything. You know?
something that's all that later, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just hmm. Probably have a weekend of finishing beats, even though I it's like those that cringy moment of like this beat is okay, but I know I should finish it because it can live on to be somewhere else. Um these are like this is definitely like a microwave beat because microwave beat for me is just like this sample drums bass some extra stuff. Um, my goal is to continue to make those types of beats, but I want to kind of finish everything I've already started. So that's what I am. That's my intention of this weekend or this next week for myself. Um, and then hopes of moving forward with a brand new project. Um, probably two new projects because I'm, I think I'm finished with this lo-fi Afro beats project done with the Samba lo-fi beats project but I do have like little bitty beats that have I've created them like they may be like a start of like a new volume two of a vo uh, microwave beats or another EP I don't know but I need to organize those things it's very important that those things are done you know but I was able to record what was on the koala yeah I'm glad I was able to record the koala on the on Ableton this is the only way I can arrange a beat I'm gonna save it real quick beat babies to just sit on my on my computer just waiting for me to do something with them so this show is dedicated to them and to your little babies that are sitting on your hard drive just waiting for you to finish uh, make sure you guys head to noquantize.com to get your sound packs your merchandise your microwave beats hoodie your microwave beats poster I just got mine's uh very grateful thanks for everyone that has supported listened to my music has watched my any of my videos have subscribed have liked have supported me in any type of way thank you so much yeah appreciate you coming through today and hanging out with me and vibing out with me finishing some beats May take a break. May take a break next week. Someone in the comments told me to take a uh, to relax. I would take that offer. Usually, usually I like to stream three three Fridays in a row, and then at the end of the month take a break. I'm thinking about going to the spa. I need a massage. Everyone should get a massage. Um, some people have never gotten a massage. Highly recommend getting a massage. You're gonna love it. You actually need to get one fairly frequently because your body needs it anyways. Uh, I appreciate y'all coming through, listening to my beats. I'll be back probably the following week with some new, we'll start fresh. Maybe we'll start a new microwave beats project. Maybe we, you know, it's going to always be hip hop. So, um, Simmies. I hope I'm saying that right. Sims music. Thank you, Sarah. Stay chill as you are. Thank you. Um, Mr. Right One. You didn't miss anything. You can always scrub and, you know, go backwards to watch the live stream. I've been on here since two o'clock. It's five. So, yeah, my dog, she deserves to go outside.
You know, the thing about having a dog, they'll keep you on a routine. They're not going to make you work too long. They're going to make you play, and then you got to go outside and take a walk. So it's, it's healthy to have a dog if you can afford it. So I, I take advantage of, of that luxury of having a puppy. If you have a dog, take him out on a walk, get some fresh air, some prana, you know. I'm going to take my dog to the beach this week. You know, as long as the weather is appropriate. But yeah, I like to keep my streams up. You know, if you, I don't know. I get Twitch, but I don't get it. I like to make sure y'all can watch my stream. So every, every time I do a stream, it's going to be up here. I used to do Twitch and then it used to limit what people could watch. So they really missed the live streams. It's crazy. Um, unless you like pay for it or something like that. So maybe one day I'll do a membership. Probably I'm thinking of it. Uh, I think I have to offer some offer something exclusive to my members <laughs> in order for me to have a membership. So um, to be transparent, my goal, uh, the biggest thing that I'm going to be working on is uh, helping people in the form of uh, video content in a very intentional way. Um, may make a membership out of that, but we'll see. I have to take one thing at a time. You know? Anyways, I'm rambling. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure you subscribe and listen to Microwave Beat. And uh, if you haven't watched my latest YouTube video, it's there for you to watch. It took me, I don't know, seven, eight months to make. And it's really information for you. Because if you want to get into sync licensing and you're wanting to learn the, the jargon or even want to know what that means, the video will get you started. You know, thank you so much, Jarrell. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. Happy Friday. Go get some pizza safely. Until next time, I love you.